Welcome to Esoteric Detective. My name is Emma. KIC8462852, or simply known as Tabby's Star, is a strange star that has made headlines this week, by science leaders, as potential evidence of an ancient alien megastructure. Those talking about it, include famous physicist Michio Kaku who recently said in October 2015, that it could be the biggest find in the last 500 years. Stay tuned as we count down six things we know right now about Tabby's star. Number 6. The star has an artificial signature. That is, the light that is analyzed coming from the faraway star has a signature that there are enormous objects blocking the light from the star. The objects are also blocking the light in a way that is consistent with something artificial, or something scientists do not understand. Jason Wright, an astronomer from Penn State University, suggested that we might be able to detect distant extraterrestrial civilizations, by looking for enormous technological artifacts orbiting other stars. Wright and his co-authors say the unusual star's light pattern is consistent with a swarm of megastructures, perhaps stellar light collectors, technology designed to catch energy from the star. When I saw the data, I was fascinated by how crazy it looked, Jason Wright said. Aliens should always be the very last hypothesis you consider, but this looked like something you would expect an alien civilization to build. Number 5. Scientists are hoping to point the Very Large Array Radio Telescope in New Mexico at Tabby's star as early as January 2016. They will start looking and analyzing any radio signals from Tabby's star. Or even sooner. Scientists will also network with other radio telescopes worldwide, in order to watch Tabby's star, which is no doubt now one of the most watched places in the night sky. Number 4. How the massive objects circling Tabby's star behave, has never been seen before. The light pattern suggests that the strange objects, massive in nature, are circling in a very tight formation. That would be expected if the star were young. But the star is not young. Scientists who have studied the data know this because of the light signatures. That is, if it were young, it would have an excess amount of infrared light. But there is not an excess of infrared light. Number 3. The mass of objects that encircle the star are massive. Tabby's star is twice the size of our own sun, and the objects that are moving around Tabby's star are large enough to block out sometime 20% of the light that is admitted by the star. If indeed the objects are some kind of alien megastructure, then the structure would have to be massive. Scientists have gone over the data, and ruled out asteroids, planets, and anything else known that could orbit and block the starlight, in the way that it is happening to Tabby's star. So far, the idea that massive artificial objects are around Tabby's star is gaining great momentum and excitement in the scientific community. Number 2. The science world is getting excited. Famous scientist Michio Kaku said recently, this could be the biggest story in the past 500 years. Kaku said that this star is breaking all the rules and that we would have to rewrite astronomy textbooks to think anything different. We're talking about what's called a Type II civilization that could build a gigantic Dyson sphere possibly bigger than Jupiter to absorb starlight to produce energy, which Kaku admits is right out of science fiction. The concept of the Dyson sphere was the result of a thought experiment by physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson, when he theorized that all technological civilizations constantly increase their demand for energy. He reasoned that if human civilization expanded energy demands long enough, there would come a time when it demanded the total energy output of the star. Dyson proposed a system of orbiting structures designed to intercept and collect all energy produced by a star. Dyson's proposal did not detail how such a system would be constructed, but focused only on issues of energy collection, on the basis that such a structure could be distinguished by its unusual emission spectrum in comparison to a star number one. If it really is an alien megastructure, built by an aliens, then it might not be a great idea to let that civilization know that we are here. If they don't know already. World-renowned scientist Stephen Hawking has spoken publicly about his fears that an advanced alien civilization would have no problem wiping out the human race the way a human might wipe out a colony of ants. He noted in July that human beings have a terrible history of mistreating, and even massacring, 
other human cultures that are less technologically advanced, why would an alien civilization be any different? Such advanced aliens would perhaps become nomads, looking to conquer and colonize whatever planets they could reach, Hawking said in 2010 on an episode of Into the Universe, a TV show that aired on the Discovery Channel. If so, it makes sense for them to exploit each new planet for material to build more spaceships so they could move on, who knows what the limits would be. If Tabby's star is evidence of an alien civilization, then it would have a far greater technology than ours. Humanity could indeed bring about its own apocalypse in trying to greet the would-be aliens. What did you think of my 6 things we know about Tabby's star? If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe for more videos. And as always, this has been Emma from Esoteric Detective, and thanks for watching.